In this video, we're going to demonstrate an application of matrix algebra to find the line of best fit for the points observed in a scatter plot. The equation for a line can be written as y equals a plus bx, where a is the y-intercept of the line, which is the value of y when x is equal to 0, and b is the slope of the line. y changes by b units when x increases by 1 unit. And what we want to do is we actually want to estimate the line that best approximates a set of points. So let's suppose that we observe n pairs of x, y values. So we have these n pairs x1, y1, x2, y2, up to x in y n. And we want to find the values of a and b that minimize something called the residual sum of squares. So we're not going to talk a lot about this, but this is a very common way of deciding how well a line fits to a set of data. And this function is a function of a and b. We denote it by RSS. And the residual sum of squares as a function of a and b is the sum from i equals 1 to n, so across all n observations, of the ith value of y minus a minus b times xi, that whole quantity squared. And what this is doing is it's comparing the observed value of y to the value of the line when x is equal to xi. And so this gives us a sense of how well our line matches the actual observed data. What's really neat is that we can actually find these values of a and b using matrix algebra. And so to do that, we first have to define a matrix x and then a column vector y, which we'll define below. So we first define x, which is a column of ones. These column of ones are related to the y-intercepts. And then the second column is going to be all of our x values, so x1 up to xn. And we call this matrix capital X. And we're also going to define bold-faced y, which is just our vector of y values stacked one on top of the other. So this is an n by 1 vector. Well, the values of a and b that minimize our residual sums of squares function, uh, we'll call those values, we'll call those estimates a hat and b hat, and we can estimate them through the equation x transpose x inverse x transpose y. So you can see we have all the goodies that we talked about earlier in this module. So we have the transpose operator, we have the inverse of a matrix here, we're doing some matrix multiplication, and so we have to put all that together in order to get our estimates of a and b. So let's actually go about doing that here in our example. So let's say we have six pairs of x, y values. So here are the six pairs right here. 1, 4.9, 1.3, 4.2, all the way up to 3.5 and 6.8. And we're going to turn those values into two vectors, lowercase x and lowercase y below. So I'm just going to create those vectors manually. And let's just create a plot of this to see what the plot looks like. This is always a good idea when you have data. And this is actually not a really strong linear relationship, but we can fit a line to this data set, which is what we'll do below. And so we first create our capital X matrix using the C-bind function. So I'm going to C-bind a column of ones and then the vector X that we created earlier. And even though I don't have a vector of ones here, R knows to just repeat the one value as many times as needed so that it matches the, the length of the lowercase X vector here. So we create that capital X matrix, then we print it to make sure that we did what we wanted. And we did get, in fact, what we were expecting. And then... Now we can actually use our equation above, the equation that we defined right here, to compute our line of best fit in order to find a hat and b hat. Uh, we don't actually need to turn y into a matrix here. Because it's a vector, r is able to deal with that in the matrix operations and everything will work out okay. So for clarity, the first thing we're going to do is going to construct x transpose x. So I do that on this line right here. So I have the transpose of x multiplied by x. I also compute x transpose y. So that's what I have right here. So the transpose of x multiplied by y. And I store those in xtx and xty respectively. And now in order to get x transpose x inverse multiplied by x transpose y, I can use the solve function. And so I do solve of x transpose x comma x transpose y. And this will compute x transpose x inverse multiplied by x transpose y. So I can run those commands. And so our solutions for a hat and b hat are 3.58 and 0.69. So those are the best estimates of 
A and B, they're going to minimize that residual sums of squares function. So once we do that, it's always a good idea to actually plot your results to make sure that you didn't make a mistake. And so I'm going to plot my data once again using the plot function, and then I will use the AB line function to plot a straight line where A is equal to 3.58, and then the slope parameter B is equal to 0 0.69. And so when we do that, we can probably convince ourselves that maybe that's the line that best fits this data, at least in terms of the residual sum of squares.